So this question is a very short question. By short, I mean that it's only really, you know, it's a little under two lines here. So anytime I see that, I typically think to myself that I'm going to need to simplify something. This is usually a hint or a signal that the simplify strategy is going to be important. So what do I have here? I have x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 2y equals negative 1. And the question says the equation of a circle in the xy plane is shown above. Okay, so this is a circle equation. What is the radius of the circle? So I want to figure out what r is. Now, you know, there's some knowledge here because, you know, how do I know what a circle equation looks like? So if you don't know, then hopefully this will be helpful to you. So the circle equation looks like this. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h comma k is the center of the circle and r equals the radius. So we need to convert this given equation, we just simplify it into something that looks like that. Now in order to do that, we're gonna need to use um, completing the square, which I've never met a student who likes this process, but hopefully you've at least heard of it. So I'm going to complete the square with this equation, and it's going to end up looking just like this circle equation that I just wrote up here. So to do that, I'm going to combine my x terms together. So I have x, I have x squared plus 4x, and I'm going to leave a space. And then I have plus y squared minus 2y, I'm going to leave a space. And I have equals negative 1, and there's going to be some stuff that goes over here. So completing the square, first rule is to take half of this middle term, so half of 4, which is 2, and then square it, which is 4. So I'm going to add that there. And the same thing with the negative 2. Half of negative 2 is negative 1. And then square it, that's positive 1. So I'm going to add that there. And then we factor, I'm sorry, and I have to also add those same values to the right side of the equation. So then I factor each of these trinomials. So this ends up being x plus 2 squared. The shortcut for this is, is always, this number will always be whatever half this term was here. All right, so we get x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared, right? So the same reason, half of negative 2 is negative 1, equals, well, negative 1 plus 1 is gone, so I have 4, so equals 4, which means that my r squared, right, my r squared term is equal to 4, and therefore r is equal to the square root of 4, which is 2. So therefore, my answer is choice A. So this is a difficult question to answer if you do not know this equation. So please do write it down, take note of it. It shows up often enough on the SAT that it's valuable for you to remember it, to review it. And then second of all, this completing the square process, right? If you don't remember that or have never learned that, you can definitely look that up on, online, find some, some sample problems, use the process that I just showed you, maybe use some other resources to uh, review, that, review that process, but definitely required on this question.